in both Room and Beyond, episode number 10, Does Impact Investment Work? We discuss the opportunities, challenges, and the failures of education sector impact investment in Africa. In this episode, I would like to share with everyone the experience and opinion from a frontline medical doctor, Dr. Kwang Kui Lai, regarding healthcare sector impact investment in Africa. I believe the insight shared by Dr. Lai here can help us better understand how the healthcare project works in Africa and other underdeveloped areas of the world. Welcome to the Boardroom and Beyond podcast, a show dedicated to exploring corporate governance best practice. I'm your host, Lindsay Zhang. In each ESG in Action episode, I invite passionate ESG experts and professionals to share their professional services, creative ideas, and inspiring stories, and talk about how they are making an impact on business sustainability, social well-being, and corporate ESG integration. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Boardroom and Beyond podcast. In this episode, I have a very special guest, Dr. Lai, with me. I met Dr. Lai in November 2019 during a one-day trip to Alexandria in Egypt. Dr. Lai was on her way back to Boston from a volunteer job she just finished in Yemen. She had a one-day layover in Egypt. From there, I had a chance to know Dr. Lai and her inspiring stories of all the voluntary medical works in many African countries and other underdeveloped regions, including her contribution during the deadly Ebola outbreak. Most of Dr. Lai's volunteer programs are part of the impact investment projects in Africa. This episode will give us some insights about the details of those impact investment projects from a doctor's experience. Without further ado, please join me to welcome Dr. Lai. Hello, Dr. Lai. Welcome to Boardroom and Beyond podcast. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. Before we dive into your experience in Africa, I'm interested in learning more about your successful academic career in Harvard Medical. And uh, more interesting, just want to understand what inspired you to start volunteer work at the beginning. Can you share something with us? Thank you. Okay. It is really kind of a a long story. Um, Originally, I'm from a very impoverished uh, family in Penang, Malaysia. And uh, growing up, I cannot envision my family to fund my higher education. So... Uh, Fortunately, I heard that some of the United States colleges and universities offered scholarships to foreign students. And so because of that, I started to do a lot of research uh, in the United States Information Service Library on my island. And I was then accepted by Wellesley College with a full scholarship. While I was there, I was advised by, by Wellesley College foreign student advisor that most of the students she advised uh, were foreign students. And those people who tried to apply to medical school could not get into medical school, even though they were very good students. So she advised me to apply for other healthcare professions. So I ended up applying to the Harvard uh, School of Dental Medicine. While I was in the dental school, I realized that My first love was due medicine. So while I was in the dental school, I finished doing my dental medicine. At the end, I decided to apply to medical school. So I went backward and went to medical school and got my medical degree. Uh, After that, I went to specialize in infectious diseases uh, in my medical training. so that's how I ended up to be a specialist. And I spent about 18 years in academia, uh, teaching medical students and doing practice in infectious diseases, also in internal medicine. 
To listen to the rest of this episode, please check our website in the description section below this video. And please subscribe Boardroom and Beyond YouTube channel so you will not miss any future episodes. Thank you for listening.